evil has an origin spreading through the whole human race. And so it goes through innocent people too, people who are victims, creating victims. We don't mean to hurt each other, but we, we are conduits of it anyway. Follow that? And so therefore, that's what you're dealing with. So when you, that's the reason why you do unto others what was done unto you. Because when you are hurt, you fall and you give up your life force. You give up your energy. You give up who you are, more of who you are. Because you're already born in, under that system already. It's almost like we're all vampires in transition, feeding ourselves, feeding ourselves into one another, see? And, and doing unto others, taking our frustrations on our, on our children, on, on, you know, on the innocent. You, you marry and you, 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 you take it out on your husband, or you marry and he takes it out on you because his mother destroyed him, so he has to destroy you, that sort of thing. And, you, and you're innocent, well, relatively so. And so therefore you're the victim. You give your life force up to that person. And you see, the gentleman, lady was mentally ill, says she was mentally ill, also gave her life force up to her husband. See, and her mental illness was the fact that she had a conflict with the identity that's inside her. She has an identity, an entity inside her. And it's more than just emotions. It's an entity. It's an id entity, identity. It's the wrong kind of identity. I have an identity, it's God's rooted in creator. But then when you sin, the identity come, is displaced. You have an identity displacement. And that's why you need the, the love of the object that seduces you. It becomes your ground of being. It's your God. But instead of give, God, your God giving you, it's only giving you illusion. And in exchange for that illusion, that's all you got. The illusion of being alive emotionally, you give something of yourself. You see? You give your life force. And as you do, as it gets, if you get into it, it gets into you. And the moment it gets into you, you get into it, you get this euphoria, you get in love. That moment, that high, is the moment it inserts itself, that's why you can't see it. It stings you with its love. It stings you with its, when you get angry. That moment you get angry enough, the, the rush comes up with it, and with the energy, with the energy, as you get into that anger, and you take the forbidden fruit, the judgment, it wants you to be mad because it separates you from God. And it enters you, and it also wants to be God. But it also can't be God without stealing bodies. It can't create its own bodies, can't even create its own dirt. But it has to steal what God's created, that's called seduction or temptation. See? And those the armies of the world are like that, evil armies of the world are like that, they're everywhere. So understand what you're dealing with, it's also inside you. So what you get into, gets into you. Now, so you've got to deal with evil both places. It's still outside, teasing you, <laughs> loving you. Offering you the teasers, the twin teasers of love and hate. See? So you have to get above that. And, but a lot of us... When we get above those thoughts, as we start to get above it, we start to see ourselves when we could, as we never saw ourselves before. We don't see a self. We see another self.